Hey everyone, just wanted to share my World vs. World Roaming Ranger build with you all. Uh, a couple of my good mates wanted me to post a video, so here it is. I'm just going to start with the uh, armor that I got. It's a, mostly a mix of uh, knights, a little bit of uh, PTV gear, as you see in my mask and my coat right there. Mm, the rest is knights. You can see knights, knights, knights. So it's pretty simple with that, with the power, precision, toughness. Uh, with critical chance, uh, precision, and everything like that. Uh, we got the uh, power, toughness, and vitality right here. And here, just add a little bit more health on your health bar right there. Because with the straight up just night build, I mean, yeah, you have a, a little bit more toughness to deal with stuff. But I, I like, I've experimented with it a little bit, and I just like having the bit, extra little bit of vitality there. Just gets you out of a few situations. As far as my runes go, uh, I chose the superior rune of the earth just because the toughness bonus that I'm losing well not really losing just uh, that I don't have as much on like the smaller pieces and stuff like that it just gives a little bit more bonus as well as the 25% uh, chance to gain protection for four seconds when hit that may have a cooldown of 30 seconds but it helps a lot uh, then you got the gain magnetic war for five seconds when you fall below 20% health that also helps. It's got a 90 second cooldown, a little bit longer, but hopefully you won't get down that low that fast. Moving on to weapons, both of my weapons, I got a great sword and a short bow. They're both berserker stat, meaning power precision crit damage. As you can see, it's got the 9% crit damage on both. For both weapons, a total of 18%. Uh, on the uh, my great sword right here, it's got the superior signal of accuracy. Now it adds the 5% crit chance. But I don't know if it's a bug just on my character or what, but for some reason it doesn't show up on my just base crit chance right here. So instead of the 35, it's actually 39. I'm not entirely sure why that's on there, but uh, I will. Going to move on to my back piece. I've got the fervent sensor just because I think it looks nice. So you can see right there. Zoom in on that real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's attached to my greatsword for some reason, but I don't care because it's awesome. Okay, and for some reason, I don't know if it's just me too, but it doesn't show it in my hero panel. So you can see it is not there. Nope. Nowhere. Nope. Oh, nope. Still not. Anyway. Okay, now we're going to go on to my accessories right here. Uh, you got the Burl Oracle and the Earring of the Valkyrie right here. It's got the power, vit, and crit damage. Again, just add a little bit more vitality to your build just to make you a little bit uh, more beefier, more of a bunker build, but not really. And then it's also got the crit damage in there too, which I like a lot. Then go down, all my other trinkets are uh, Berserkers. Berserker, Berserker on both uh, sets. So it's got crit damage, power precision on all, on both of them. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my traits. Okay, as far as traits go right here, it goes 20, 20, 30. Uh, you've got the gain swiftness when swapping weapons in combat. You've got pets do 30% uh, more damage on critical hits. That's going to tie in with a couple down here that I'm going to show you later. It's got the gain fury when swapping weapons in combat. That's also good with that and that. So you gain fury and swiftness both whenever you swap a weapon. Uh, short bow and longbow skills recharge 20% faster. You got increased endurance regeneration by 50%. That helps a lot, especially for the Ranger class when you're always dodging and whatnot and trying to get around like the beefier like Guardian builds and even like the burst damage thieves and stuff like that. A good dodge rope can save your life. Uh, survival skills recharge 20% faster. That's for down here. Uh, you and your pet gain two saves with technical when you dodge roll, which I, that helps it even more. Uh, sword great sword and skill skills recharge 20% faster. That's pretty self-explanatory along with that. And then you and your pet gain two seconds of quickness when you swap pets. That is great, and I'll tell you later why. Uh, pets gain three stacks of might when they're activated. That's going to tie in with that as well. Uh, you got pet swapping recharges 20% faster. That's just in general all-around good one. Drake, feline, devour, and shark pets bleed on critical hits. That's going to tie in to that, that, that. Uh, 20% of healing is given as bonus to power. That's just something that's there. I mean, that's not a big deal, but it's there. And your pets have natural health regeneration, which that is going to stack with uh, down here. I'll show you that in a second. And as far as my skill bar here goes, I've got Healing Spring, which is a great all-around heal. Heal for 5k and along with the region. 
that you get for 15 seconds. Well, it's three seconds, but it's the field's there for 15 seconds. Also, if you'll do a three elite combo finisher leap through it, it'll heal you for a lot more. You also got the lightning reflexes, which is a great stun breaker, along with the vigor, which is 100% endurance regeneration. Uh, that is just great for this build, also. And you got the Senior of the Wild, which grants health regeneration to you and your pet, which stacks with the health regeneration that your pet also already gets on that right there. And then you got uh, the Signet of the Hunt, which grants from side increased movement speed. And anybody who's roaming around World of War knows that that's a huge deal, this speed, especially with a Ranger build. And also you got Entangle. Now for this, some people try to switch this around with like the Grant Health Regeneration. Another good one is also this one improves toughness for you and your pet. I mean, it's not a significant boost. It gives me probably around 100 or 200 more. Uh, toughness which translate to about 200 more armor uh, give or take a few but I mean it's not a significant boost so I'd rather just run around with get the health regeneration on that okay and as far as uh, the pets go I've got my juvenile wolf right there and I got that thing right there cougar I call him cougar well his name is Zoe after my cat but anyways uh, the big thing about this you like the I like to start out with the wolf the reason being that is, as soon as you go into the wolf, uh, what you can do is you can uh, pop your your skill right there, how it foes just in the running of fear. And as they're running, if you pop an entangle, it has a 100% chance to bind them. So you're always like, people are always saying, oh, you use entangle and stuff like that. Why do you use that? Because everybody's always dodging out of it. It never works because of that right there. Fear them, entangle, they're done. Then as soon as you do that, if you would pop to him, as soon as you pop with him, because of your traits right here, pets do 30% uh, more damage on critical hits. Pets gain 3 stacks of might for 10 seconds when they are activated. And then the pets bleed with critical hit. Whenever, as soon as you swap to it, it's going to go ahead and attack them once, your opponent. And then if you go ahead and pop a stealth real quick, for six seconds, all of his, all of the uh, Cougar's attacks are critical hits, which means it's just, it's got that might already on it, along with the crit hits and everything like that, and 30% more damage on crit. So you, that's just all stacking. It's just all bad. And you can take it even a, a step further and activate this signet before you even do that. Your pet's next attack deals more damage. So that's just a massive. Just people don't know that, but that's just a massive. You can. 10,000 to 15,000 15, damage quick and I mean people don't even know what hits them really especially when they see a ranger coming at them which hopefully I'll have some uh, gameplay video of that up here in a little bit but as far as my build I mean that's pretty much it and uh, hopefully I'll have some gameplay videos up here soon so if you have any questions feel free to ask